the tier two sponsors list on the government website has been updated and while going through it i realized that just yesterday over a hundred companies were added to this list this means that some of those companies that you would have loved to work with but couldn't apply to them because they couldn't sponsor you they might just be on this list they might just be available this is a fresh list and you want to be among the first people to get this news so that you can pursue your choice as soon as you can before other people hear about it and you know start applying to them hello hello it's your girl chi thank you for tuning in you're welcome to my channel guys i appreciate your support so far thanks for subscribing thanks for getting information from this channel thanks for choosing me and if you're a new subscriber let me know in the comment section so that i can welcome you specially i appreciate you guys now without wasting much time let's get right into it so i'm going to start by going to the register of the licensed sponsors on the government website as you can see on the screen this is a website where you come to find the licensed sponsor you can either click on this link to view it online however when you use the view online button you're not able to get the full list so your best option so your best option will be to download the CSV and I've downloaded CSV already and that is this Excel sheet that you can see right here. Now on this list, if I click here and you check at the bottom here, what can you see? It says count 73,984. So we have over almost 74,000 companies that are willing to sponsor you in the UK. You have their town and their city, the county, the type of rating, and the kind of visa that they offer. If you also want to make it simpler for you, you want to check out this website. It contains exactly the same information that you have on the government website, and it even makes it easier for you to search for a particular company. So when you come here, you can search for a particular company of your choice. I remember searching for this company the other day. The name is IBC Quality Solutions. I typed it here and I clicked on search and it brought it out. That doesn't mean you can't search for it on Excel as well. I'm going to show you how you can search on Excel. Guys, if you've got some value from this video so far, please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can push it out to more people. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time I put out information like this. I do this every single week and you don't want to miss out on it. I'm also trying to hit 5,000 subscribers, so please help me achieve this goal. Thank you, guys. When you come to the Excel link, sorry you can click on uh you can click on find you can see this search button right here so any search button you see it says search sheet if i click on ibc quality and click on enter you can see this box is highlighted ibc quality solutions limited and i think that's about the same way as well if you want to search for a particular city let's say you're trying to search Essex, maybe like the sponsors in Essex. You see, it comes down here. And if you keep clicking enter, then it keeps going down and showing you all the Essex companies. Just anywhere that, that has Essex, it keeps going into. That's how to search on the Excel sheet. But when you want to search, on this sponsor list this other website you can also search it this way you have the town as well you have the industries you have all the different industries medical care home it telecommunication computer programming every single thing is here let me refresh this page so that you see all the lists so this is it if you come down here you can see about sixty one thousand. 817 down here so this is the list and this website also has the recently added companies which you can see on my screen which you can see on my screen and this company also has recently sponsored list 
which you can see on the screen at the moment and when you go down you can see 143 1 to 20 of 143 that is the 143 companies that have just been added on the 27th of march look at all of them guys look at look at all of them look at their various industries computer programming manufacturing transportation and storage admin and support wholesale and retail so if you want to search by company if you want to search by town or city you can search for it so now i'm going to show you how i was able to use this list to find out that a company that I was researching their job opening was a recent sponsor so uh i'm currently here at carehome.co.uk so i was researching you know carehome.co.uk is a job site for care jobs so it was like all the care jobs were there and everything i was just going through them and i came across this one by somerset's night care assistant I looked at it, it was a fresh job that had just been posted on the 27th of march 2023 i was like oh this looks good at least if i post this on the channel uh a lot of people will have time and apply for it before the deadline approaches but then i was like i was looking for the sponsorship uh part on the description like looking for a place where he says oh we offer sponsorship and stuff like that but i didn't see any and i was just a bit worried so I came down to the list and I clicked I said oh let me just let me just take a wide guess and let me just search for this company and I clicked Soma Set Care and I searched lo and behold this company is on the government website this company is on the sponsored list so, so that is just why it is very important to know how to search for these uh, companies to know if they can offer you sponsorship or not because sometimes they don't put it in their job description that they offer sponsorship so they leave it to the applicant to do their own you know research so, so this is how you can widen your chances you know by digging a bit deeper into the company you're trying to apply to and confirming that they are on the sponsored list before you even go ahead to do that job application because you know job application take time you want to be sure that you're not wasting your time on a company that will eventually not hire you you want to be sure that you are doing the right thing because you have to optimize your cv optimize your cover letter and all of those things i won't even like applying for jobs is not easy i give it to you you're doing a good job keep on optimizing that cv keep on optimizing that cover letter no matter how hard how difficult it might seem at this time the most important thing is that the end will be a testimony the end will be good news and i'm rooting for you so please guys just make sure that as you're putting in all this hard work you're not wasting your time on a company that does not offer sponsorship i have shown you two ways now that you can search to make sure that a company offers sponsorship or not either through the tier 2 sponsor list on the uk tier sponsors website or through the excel sheet on the government website either way you're going to get all the information if you're targeting a particular city you search for the city and search for the companies in that city you google them you check their career page on their website check for their vacancies and you apply to them or you see them on indeed or any other job site you apply to them but please let's do this for companies that can actually give us the sponsorship that we are looking for so that we don't get to the end and uh, get to the interview stage smash all the interviews and then we just realize that they don't offer sponsorship that is even more heartbreaking so i've come to the end of this video guys thank you for staying with me and click on the playlist up there for you to check out some of the tier 2 sponsorship jobs in the uk that i have posted and see if you can apply to some of them or you can share with your family and your friends thank you guys